and this is a learning zone. In this video, I will explain how to identify oxidation reduction or redox reactions. During an oxidation reduction reaction, the oxidation number of one or more of the reacting species will change. This change in oxidation number is due to either the loss or the gain of electrons. When a species loses electrons, the process is called oxidation. When a species gains electrons, the process is called reduction. An easy way to distinguish between the two processes is through the use of mnemonics. One popular mnemonic is Leo goes Ger. Loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. Another popular mnemonic is oil rig. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. When a substance undergoes oxidation, the oxidation number will increase. When a substance undergoes reduction, the oxidation number will decrease. Now let's examine some examples of oxidation reduction or redox reactions. A reaction in which a compound is being formed from its elements will always represent an oxidation reduction reaction. Consider the reaction where the elements chlorine gas and hydrogen gas will react to form the compound hydrogen chloride. The oxidation number of any lone element will always be zero. In this example, the chlorine gas and the hydrogen gas will both possess an oxidation state of zero. However, in the compound hydrogen chloride, hydrogen will now possess a plus one charge, as indicated on the periodic table. And chloride will possess a minus one charge. During this reaction, chlorine will undergo reduction to form chloride ion, which has a negative charge. And hydrogen will undergo oxidation to form the hydrogen cation, which has a plus one charge. Combustion reactions are also examples of oxidation reduction reactions. In this example, the compound ethane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, a typical combustion reaction. During the process, carbon begins with a negative three oxidation state, and hydrogen begins with a plus one oxidation state. The element oxygen will possess a zero oxidation state. However, on the product side, carbon in carbon dioxide will possess a plus four or four plus oxidation state. Oxygen will possess a negative two oxidation state. In the compound water, hydrogen will have a plus one and oxygen will possess a negative two oxidation state. During this reaction, carbon underwent oxidation, where the oxidation number increased from minus three to plus four. And oxygen underwent reduction, where the oxidation number decreased from zero to minus two. Single replacement reactions represent another type of oxidation reduction reaction. Consider the reaction between zinc metal and aqueous copper 2 chloride to produce aqueous zinc chloride and copper metal. During this reaction, the oxidation number of zinc will increase from 0 to plus 2 or 2 plus. Simultaneously, the oxidation number of copper 2 cation will decrease from plus 2 to zero. In this reaction, zinc has undergone oxidation and copper 2 cation has undergone reduction. 
Notice that in the net ionic equation, the chloride anion is excluded. Because the chloride anion remains at minus 1 throughout the process, chloride is considered to be a spectator ion, where spectator ions do not participate in the oxidation reduction reaction. Another important concept associated with oxidation reduction reactions is the concept of agency, where an agent will facilitate another process. In an oxidation reduction reaction, the species that undergoes oxidation actually facilitates reduction, and that species is called a reducing agent. The species that undergoes reduction facilitates oxidation, and that species is called an oxidizing agent. In our example, where zinc metal reacts with copper 2 chloride, the zinc metal will provide the electrons for the reduction process to occur, and zinc will represent the reducing agent. The copper 2 plus cation will accept those electrons, thus allowing oxidation to occur, and the copper 2 plus cation will represent the oxidizing agent. A helpful hint in terms of agency is that both agents, the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent, will appear on the reactant side of the oxidation reduction equation. One type of reaction that is definitely not a redox reaction is a precipitation reaction. Consider these examples of precipitation reactions where the oxidation states of all species will remain the same. Although a precipitate is formed in each case, the oxidation states do not change. Since the oxidation states do not change, these reactions are definitely not redox reactions. This concludes my explanation of how to identify oxidation reduction or redox reactions. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.